episode of the Minion Moto Show in my Redneck Garage. Today I'm going to be doing another product review for anybody who's interested. Uh, the uh, the Cherbis Plastics, as you all know, when I bought this bike, it was orange and white. The only part plastics I did not replace were the side plates on both sides. That's why this one's kind of scratched up a little bit here and whatnot. And then the front number plate. This one, the front number plate and the side plates here are the only ones that I did not replace. I replaced, I didn't even have to replace that, just I ended up doing it and DTS hooked it up and uh got the parts from them uh replaced the, sh the radiator shrouds here from orange and black to white and black the front and rear fender and the fork guards as well as the front brake guard now some of the brake guards Brake disc guards come with the the mount here. Some don't. Mine didn't. So it came in two different pieces. That's why it took so long to put this on. Because I was waiting on this uh, bracket for about a week and a half, two weeks. You know, to get the bracket. But it's easy. Just on, take the front axle out. And then you got the spacers here. You take the spacer out on just this side and you leave the spacer in on the other side and you put this on the because the mount is also a spacer and you put the axle back through you mount bolt the axle back in make sure it's tight and you don't want the front wheel coming off and then you just screw this on there's three bolts on here there's one down here underneath the fork this one and this one and whatnot it uh my fork guards the brake guard fenders and the uh shrouds and fenders you have fenders shrouds guards fork guards and brake guard what do i have to say about the cherbis plastics well they're plastics I don't see anything wrong with them. Way back in the day, I didn't know about a Cherbis and I used to use F UFO plastics. Uh, price difference between the Cherbis and other plastic brands, I'm not sure what the price difference is. I just don't know. I really don't know what the prices are for plastics, so. Uh, I know they make hand guards as well and gas tanks but I went with IMS gas tanks you know I like IMS tanks they uh I think a Cherbis only had like a 3.2 gallon tank and the IMS went with has a 3.5 so I'd rather go with the IMS I've, even if it's a quarter gallon more or over a quarter gallon more still I'd rather have that extra quarter gallon or more just because you never know but uh yeah so I went with IMS products tank but uh a Cherbis plastics I mean they they're they seem to they flex a lot more so that means that they're not going to break it looks like I'm already getting a crack here on the rear fender started right here or maybe not oh it looks to me that looks like it's a crack starting to form but you know they seem to be good good plastics so I mean they have a little bit of flex to them 
which is good. You don't want them to be able to flex a little bit, so if you lay the bike over and they dig into the dirt, they're not going to just twist and snap. Uh, they're they're going to get scratched, just like any other plastic is going to get scratched. But uh, they seem to be holding up to the test of time for the most part. You know, they're not uh. They don't seem like they're getting uh. They don't look like they're getting any worn any slower or faster than any other plastics would. But they, they're. Sorry, I know this is gonna be a boring uh review video for y'all, but it's just my honest opinion. I mean, there's they're good plastics. I like them. I don't have any problems with them. So, you know, I think they're probably a couple bucks cheaper than anything else. I'm assuming, which isn't bad. So, if you're wondering what kind of plastics to get, check out like actual reviews online like they have four star rating five star rating three star rating and look around but honestly you can't go wrong with the Cherbis. i mean they've been around for god knows how long and they make good quality products so you know i can't really complain about that and they, they actually sound like they are made good you know because i've dropped this bike a couple of times you know hitting some of these soft sand berms and I dug the front fender into the dirt didn't break didn't fold didn't get any creases in it or anything uh i know i've hit my back fender on a couple of things when i was unloading the bike i'd hit the back fender on something didn't crack or break or anything so and I did scrape the uh the shroud here on some uh on the dirt wall of a wash and it they didn't get any big gouges taken out of them they didn't snap they didn't chip off or break away or anything so they're they're durable definitely definitely durable you know and so i would say that a Cherbis definitely makes good plastics i definitely have to say that for sure so if you want to buy new plastics for your dirt bikes or whatnot check out a Cherbis. you know you're gonna be getting your money's worth on for the plastic plastics now so i shall catch you guys on the flip side and thanks for enjoying the main motor show